Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD-12-EX230-K HDMI splitter and extender kit. This product was designed to make it really easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content from one location with two remote locations at the same time, up to 230 feet away, over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable to each of those locations. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and it's both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with a wide range of modern media equipment. The transmitter module features local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content at the primary side while you're simultaneously sharing it with both of your remote locations. And each of the remote receivers feature audio extraction capabilities where they can digitally separate the audio component from the media being sent there and then allow you to pass that along through an analog connection to a soundbar or a home stereo for that full theater experience. The kit also includes a set of infrared blasters that will collect up the remote control signals from each of those remote locations and pass those back over the same LAN connection to the primary location where they're rebroadcast so you can effectively remotely control the content you're watching. And finally, the system employs the very latest in power over cable technology, which means a single power supply plugged in at the transmitter end is all you'll need to operate the entire solution because the power required for those remote locations is sent over that same LAN cable. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter module and the receiver modules, and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use them. I'll list the features and functions that this product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module and two receiver modules. You'll find a set of brackets you can use to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. You'll also find infrared blasters. These two are for the receivers and this one's for the transmitter. They look similar, but they're slightly different, so make sure you check the labels and you plug those into the correct modules. You'll also find a single 12 volt 2 amp DC power supply. You can plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the transmitter module, and that's all the power you'll need to operate the entire solution. And finally, a full instruction manual is also included, which lists connection diagrams, specifications, and a lot of other really good information about the product that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find a sender module and two receiver modules. All of these feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. Let's start with the sender module. On either side, you'll find mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount the module up off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the module, starting on the left, you'll find a reset button. You can hold that down for a few seconds once power has been applied and the unit's been turned on to reset the module. To the right of that is a power indicator. Once you add power to this module and turn it on, it starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics, makes sure everything is working okay. Once it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module is ready to use. On the rear of the module, starting on the left, you'll find a DC input port, and that's used with the included power supply. You can simply plug that power supply into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there and provides all the power required for this module. And because this solution uses power over cable technology, the power required for the two remote modules are sent over the LAN connections. To the right of that is a 3.5 millimeter port labeled infrared out, and that's where one of the infrared blasters plugs in. And again, they look the same, but they are different, so make sure you check the labels and plug the correct module in here. To the right of that are two full-sized HDMI ports labeled HDMI in and HDMI out. The HDMI in port connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your two remote locations. This product provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content at the primary location while you're simultaneously sharing it with your two remote locations. And if you'd like to take advantage of that feature, you can connect an additional HDMI cable here to a local monitor to enjoy the content you're sharing with your remote locations. Finally, to the right of that are two LAN ports labeled OUT1 and OUT2. This is where one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable between the sender module and the receiver module plugs in. The receiver modules are the same. Again, metal enclosure, 
Mounting holes on both sides you can use with the included bracketing kit. On the one end, you'll find a DC 12 volt input port. You won't need to use that because again, because of the power over cable technology, the power required for this module is sent over the LAN connection. To the right of that is another HDMI port labeled HDMI out. This connects to a monitor at that remote location that you'd like to use to enjoy the content. To the right of that is another port labeled infrared in, and that's where one of the infrared blaster modules plugs in at that remote location. And on the other side, you'll find another reset button that you can hold down for a few seconds to reset the module. In the center is a LAN port, and that's where the other end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable from the sender module plugs in. And to the right of that is a power indicator. So once you add power to the sender module and make your network connection between the two, the power required for this module is sent over that LAN connection. This unit starts an internal power on self-test, and once it passes that, that LED will come on, letting you know it's ready to use. And that's pretty much it for the kit. The O-Ray UHD12-EX230-K is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including computer systems, digital projectors, media players like Apple TV, game consoles, and streaming devices. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra high definition media content, it's both a splitter and an extender combined into a single product. It's both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant. It provides 230 feet of extension between the primary and secondary locations and includes local loopback functionality and an IR blaster kit. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor, and that's the media content that I'd like to share with my two remote locations. Over here I've set up two additional monitors, and these represent the two remote locations where I'd like to enjoy the content from that primary site. These can be up to 230 feet apart. In front of me, I have the sender module here, and two remote receiver modules here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the sender module, and I'll start by disconnecting the media player from the monitor and plugging that cable directly into the HDMI input port on the sender. And now I can add power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the DC input port on the sender module. Now one feature this product provides is local loopback functionality because you'll notice I can no longer enjoy the content at the primary side when I'm sending it to the remote side. But local loopback allows me to continue to enjoy the content here by adding one additional cable. So you'll need another HDMI cable and you can plug that into the monitor at the primary side and plug the other end of it into the HDMI output port on the sender module. And that allows you to continue to enjoy that content here while you're simultaneously sharing it with your remote locations. And now we're ready to connect the remote receivers up at those remote locations. I've already connected two high-speed HDMI cables up to the monitors, and these plug into the HDMI output ports on both of the receivers. And once I've made those connections, all we're missing at this point is the LAN connection between the sender and the remote receivers. And that has to be a CAT6 or a CAT7 cable. I have two CAT6 cables right here. Now, the first thing I want to point out is you'll notice there is no power supply required at the remote locations. And that's because this system uses power over cable technology, which means once I add power to the sender module, all the power required for the remote receivers is sent over the same LAN cable along with the video and the audio. So watch what happens when I plug one of these LAN cables into this receiver. You'll notice the power indicator came on. And again, that's because the power is being sent over that LAN cable. Now the minute I add power over here, these immediately start an internal power on self-test as well, where they're checking the electronics, they're checking the resolution of the monitors, and they're handshaking with the sender module, and there you go. So what you're viewing here is content from the primary side that starts out as an HDMI signal, it's then converted and split in the sender module into signals that can be sent over these LAN cables, and then converted back into an HDMI signal for display in these monitors. And it's really just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHD12-EX230-K HDMI splitter and extender kit helpful. This product provides a really easy way for you to share all of your media content with two remote locations at the same time, up to 230 feet away from the primary location, over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable to each of those locations. 
The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content, and since it's both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, it's essentially plug and play compatible with all of your modern media gear. The local loopback function on the transmitter allows you to continue to enjoy the content at the primary location while you're simultaneously sharing it with both of your remote locations. The audio extraction capabilities on the receiver allow you to pass that audio along to a soundbar or home stereo for better quality audio. The infrared blasters allow complete remote control from both of those remote locations. And the power over cable technology greatly simplifies your wiring because a single power supply at the transmitter side is all you'll need to operate the entire solution. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit. And with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching. Bye.